Here is a closer look at the history of the Fire Nation royal family. First, we have to go over 100 years back to Sozin and Roku. You were friends with Fire Lord Sozin? Back then, he was just Prince Sozin. And he was my best friend. When they were young, Prince Sozin was heir to the Fire Lord throne, and Roku had just found out he was the next Avatar. Roku left the Fire Nation to master the other three elements. When he returned home, things began to change. Don't do this, Sozin. Don't challenge me. It will only end badly. Avatar Roku was the only person standing between Sozin and taking over the world. Without you, all my plans are suddenly possible. I have a vision for the future, Roku. After Roku's death, the war had begun, as did Sozin's hunt for the next Avatar. Little did Sozin know how much his former best friend would impact his family's future. Why are you telling me this? Because understanding the struggle between your two great-grandfathers can help you better understand the battle within yourself. After Sozin died, his son Azulon became the new Fire Lord and followed his father's plans to conquer the world. Azulon had two fire-bending sons of his own, Iroh and Ozai. Iroh was the peace-loving, tea-drinking dragon of the West. He was a great general of the Fire Nation who won several major victories during the Hundred Year War. He also had a son named Lutin, who fought alongside him. I got you, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Iroh's younger brother Ozai was not exactly the biggest fan of peace. You will learn respect, and suffering will be your teacher. I looked away. In order to ensure a powerful Bender bloodline, Azulon arranged Ozai to marry Avatar Roku's granddaughter, Ursa. She was forced to leave her home and cut all her ties with her family and friends. Ozai and Ursa were married, which brings us to Zuko and Azula. Try to knock the apple off the other person's head, like this. together. Despite having a bitter sibling rivalry, they were happy kids. But things took a dark turn after the Battle of Ba Sing Se. My beloved Lu Ten. Iroh had failed to capture the city, and Lu Ten was killed in the battle. Ozai saw Iroh's failure as an opportunity to take the throne from his brother. You dare suggest I betray Iroh, my firstborn, directly after the demise of his only beloved son? I think Iroh has suffered enough, but you, your punishment has scarcely begun. Grandfather said Dad's punishment should fit his crime. You must know the pain of losing a firstborn son by sacrificing your own. Dad would never do that to me. Your father would never do what to you? What is going on here? Ursa made a deal with Ozai that would prevent him from killing Zuko. She helped her husband kill Azulon, allowing Ozai to take the throne as Fire Lord. In return, Zuko was spared, and Ursa was banished from the Fire Nation capital. Remember this, Zuko. No matter how things may seem to change, never forget who you are. After Ursa fled the capital, she returned to her hometown of Hira. There, she reunited with Aikum, the man Ursa was originally going to marry before Ozai showed up. In order to begin their new lives together, they both had their faces and identities changed by the Mother of Faces. Under the names Noriko and Norin, they would live happily with their daughter Kiyi. Let's fast forward to the end of the war. Ozai was defeated by Aang, Azula was defeated by Katara, Zuko became Fire Lord, you know the story. But what was the aftermath of Ozai's and Azula's defeat? With his firebending gone, 
Ozai was locked up in prison. As for Azula, her insanity had consumed her. Zuko had her kept in an asylum. She stayed there for about a year until Zuko needed her help to search for their mother. But that's a story for another time. Zuko grew up and had a daughter named Izumi. She became Fire Lord after her father and had her own son named Iroh. Like Zuko's uncle, Iroh would also become a great general of the Fire Nation. He aided Avatar Korra in the battle against the Equalists, and it was epic. That wraps up the history of the Fire Nation royal family. Which Avatar family do you want to explore next? Let us know in the comments, and tune in next time for more deep dives into the Avatar universe. She's my sister, and I should be trying to get along with her. No, she's crazy, and she needs to go down. <laughs>